is a seal inspection on a property in uh, Miami in uh, unincorporated Dade showing uh, about 240 feet of riprap, concrete riprap seawall with a bottom footer and a poured in place cap on top of the riprap. As you can see the wall is not coated and vegetation is taking place along the wall. There's many areas where the cap shows damage, about 85 feet. Uh, 30 feet of it is uh, quite substantial damage with rebar and big spalling pieces that are broken off. We're just doing a walk showing the condition. Uh, the wall is relatively stable, even though it's a non-structural supporting wall. Uh, the vegetation actually in a way is anchoring it to the land side. Uh, but there is a need, and you can see here, there's many, many areas where the footer is exposed and there's sand coming underneath it, sand coming through the actual uh, gaps in the riprap bags and where the vegetation is uh, penetrated through. Um, it's a curved wall going over a corner property, and you can see right here, it's general condition. Definitely, it'd be a good idea to maybe extend the cap and reinforce the wall with some tiebacks and re-coat the whole wall and also allow some hydrostatic um, release on it. I think the vegetation could probably be left as part of it, just trimmed and set back a little bit, so it will still act as an anchoring. And nothing like vegetation to do the work. Mother Nature knows that. Um, that's it, really, basically. You can see it's all the same condition as we walk down. We got we started the inspection on the southwest side, and we're working our way eastward and northward. So right now we're at the corner area. It's getting a little deep here. I might need to paddle a little bit. But still, you can see the condition is really similar everywhere. And... Uh, it how the vegetation just can wedge itself and grow right through the gaps in the bags and then grow substantially and start pushing itself through. Continuing northward. and some reinforcement and this embankment wall would probably give a few more good years of service. <coughs> Here and loss here, and 
There's a lot of it around the property because this wall is completely porous. <coughs> Continuing. So again, where that poured over the slab, that old cracked because of the issues of containment. And here you can see classic out. Just go underneath here. Go way past where the bags are. Here we're coming up to the um, nice feature of this property, which has its own boat ramp. The slab of the boat ramp gets all the way up to here. We get about two feet of flotation, so probably reinforcement work uh, would be good here. Probably inject some foam underneath the slab to stabilize because it shows settling. Right here, you can see this is completely in the air. And you can see it right there, floating over the bags. Uh, and of course, because of it, it's stressed here and cracked. And then there's also a pipe here coming between the two properties, which is completely open. The sediment, this part property has a sheet piling wall, the neighbors, but it's open completely here. So every time it rains, the erosion happens from areas like that, and you could actually see it right down here. You could see it, it wasn't been raining lately, so there's not a lot of it, but you can see that there's definitely some fresh sediment. Okay, this uh, completes our inspection. This inspection was conducted by Simi Dive in beautiful South Florida. Thank you.